tonight on Border Security. Have you come in contact with any drugs? No. Any drugs? This woman's travel plans have officers very concerned. She's a single traveller. She can't really explain what she's going to do. Alarm bells ring when she gets upset Mate. over Mate. what's in her bag. Get your voice down. They need to scream. A South Korean student fails to declare. So why did you import this quantity? But that's just the beginning of his problems. At this stage, I'll have to suspend the interview to prepare my decision. Now his entire future hangs in the balance. You need to calm down. And a passenger's erratic behaviour is a red flag for biosecurity. He's very agitated. His hands are trembling. Officers want to know what he's trying to hide. Can we get a body search done on him? Oh, what's this? Australian Border Force officers have stopped a Chinese national arriving off a flight from Hong Kong as they need to know a few more details about her trip. Look at this one. She's a single traveller. He's staying in a hotel. She can't really explain what she's going to do. We're just trying to find out her story and what she's, what she's actually doing here. Did you pay for your air flight to come yeah, to yeah, Australia? Yeah. I bet, I bet. You buy? I bet, I bet. The woman speaks limited English, but she's carrying a detailed itinerary for one month in Australia. Officers closely inspect her travel documents and soon notice some inconsistencies. There's a contradiction. Her passenger card on arrival says she's staying for 14 days. She's actually got ticketing for 28 days. The woman says she has to return to China sooner than she had originally intended. Why do you need to leave Australia early? You have planned your holiday. My, my, I have many jobs. Many jobs? Neither finish. I can't stay too long. But officers are curious as to why the woman hasn't changed her return flight. Yeah, yeah, change. yeah. Okay. I will change my uh, flight uh, date. Okay. I, I must change my flight. I forget. It's unusual that she's changed her travel plans. It's not unusual in that she said she needs to get back to work but I just don't understand why she'd take all that time to book a whole month's holiday with all her bookings, uh, different hotels, and then cancel them. This passenger's story just doesn't add up. So a full baggage search will now be carried out to make sure she is not attempting to bring anything illegal into the country. Biosecurity officers are concerned that this highly agitated passenger may be concealing something in his luggage. We're just running his bags through the x-ray today and I can see that we already need to open up his bags and have a look. There's a lot of organic material here brought our attention that he keeps moving his water bottle around. So we'll be having a closer look in his water bottle. It could be something to... Stop! Would you Put your bag here. Okay. Yes, you're speaking fine. Okay, just wait. Give me that bottle, please. Thank you. Okay, just, 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 yes, it's okay. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Officer Andrea now wants to check with the man about his declaration card, but she's having trouble getting the nervous traveller to pay attention. Sir, you need, please, you need to act, listen to, sir. You need to calm down, sir. What are you looking for? Okay, so... No, 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 no phone. No phone. No phone. No phone. Sir, no telephone. What? Sir, no telephone. Excuse me. No... Sir, excuse me. Sir, I'm talking to you. No telephone. No phone, sir. Okay. We'll have to call, um... I'm going to get the AFP. No telephone. OK? No. You're understanding me, OK? I need you to concentrate here, please. This is Chinese. Chinese, yeah? OK. The man finally decides to concentrate on the task at hand, so Officer Andrea now needs to confirm that he has nothing to declare. Do you have anything to declare? 
You're pointing to cigarettes and alcohol. So he's indicating to me that he's got cigarettes, and I think that might be a bit of a nervous behaviour today. However, I'm not really concerned about the cigarettes. For me, it's what our biosecurity risk is. So you need to open your bag. Open. Open. Biosecurity have noticed that the man seems very reluctant to allow them to inspect his water bottle. So, with alarm bells ringing, that is exactly what Officer Andrea does first. Okay. Oh, wow. Australian Border Force officers are about to interview this young passenger who is returning from South Korea on a student visa. But they are surprised when a routine bag search reveals that he is carrying a large amount of undeclared cigarettes. We found that you have 3,400 cigarettes in your possession. International passengers carrying more than 50 cigarettes must declare them so the duty can be paid. So why did you import this quantity? Australian cigarettes are a little bit expensive for me, so I bring. It may still end up costing him, but for now the cigarettes will be held elsewhere while officer's attention turns to the student visa which the man is travelling on. Border Force have information which indicates his enrolment was cancelled prior to him leaving Australia. Our records indicate that he's not enrolled in any course of study at the moment. So we just need to establish if there's any intention to re-enroll and we'll take it from there. Officer Munir will question the passenger to determine if he is in breach of his student visa conditions. What's the purpose of your travel to Australia today? For a study. How long are you planning on staying in Australia? It's one, one year. Departmental records indicate that your last confirmation of enrollment for a certificate three in business was cancelled by your education provider due to unsatisfactory course progress. Have you made any arrangements to re-enroll in a course of study? In the arrivals hall, Border Force officers are questioning the reason why this Chinese passenger has booked and then cancelled a detailed itinerary before arriving in Australia. She is now saying she's only going to stay here two weeks instead of uh, a month. The woman claims she is a chairman's assistant and that her plans have unexpectedly changed due to work commitments back in China. But officers are not entirely convinced. Leave it, I'll do it, it's okay, leave it. Leave it here. Her belongings will now be closely inspected to make sure she is not attempting to smuggle anything illegal into the country. Who's this? Oh, oh mate, oh mate. She becomes increasingly agitated by the routine search. Mate, it's mate. It's yours. Yeah, it's, it's mate. It's all mate. Keep your voice down, they need to scream. Officer Bill now locates some very unusual bottles of liquid. That goes in your hair? Yeah. A swab is taken from the liquid leaking from the bottles. This test will indicate if there are any traces of narcotics on the passenger's belongings. Australian Border Force officers are trying to determine if this Chinese woman who claims she's here for a holiday is carrying anything illegal. Is this? All night, all night. As they search her luggage, she has become increasingly agitated. It's all night. Keep your voice down. And this could be the reason why. The woman says it's just hair products, but a swab test has returned a positive result for a narcotic. Investigation must now be stepped up. What's this for? Hi. Hi. Did you buy this from China? Or where did you buy this one from? China, China. This is China. From China? Yeah, this is China. Border Force officers are well aware that drug syndicates have developed sophisticated methods of suspending narcotics in liquid. 
So the bottles will now be taken to an examination room for secondary testing, while the passenger is further questioned. Have you come in contact with any drugs? Have you taken any drugs? Any, no, any no, drugs? No, no. no drugs? No, no, no. Okay. Any trouble with the police? No, 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 no. Okay. Sample of the liquid will now be identified in a first defender test and help officers determine if the passenger is telling them the truth. After visiting his parents in South Korea, this young man says that he is returning for his fourth year of study in Australia. What was the name of the course? It's business College. It's what you for. Border Force officers have obtained information that indicates the man has stopped attending classes and had his enrollment cancelled before he left Australia. Have you made any arrangements to re-enroll in a course of study? With no current enrollment, he is in breach of his student visa conditions. But the man says he intends to enroll in a new course once he enters the country. And what's the name of the course that you're planning to enroll in? I'm thinking of diploma for Advanced Learning Institution. Is it also business, sir? Yes. Do you carry any funds for the purpose of paying tuition fees? I don't have the funds with me, but my parents, they are going to lend me. Are you able to show us any proof of those funds? How much do I need to show the, for...? It depends on the course you are planning to enroll in. I can prove it's a few days later, so now I have no enough money, but... So, but today you cannot show any proof of your funds? Yes, I, I can't. Officer Manir suspends the interview to discuss the case with his supervisor. And it's not looking good for the passenger. I mean, he's a student, but yet he's got no enrolment. He's got no school. He's got no plans for any school. He doesn't even know what a course. And he's absolutely got no money to study as well. This student is going to need to come up with a very good reason as to why he should not be sent back home to South Korea on the first available flight. Biosecurity officers are concerned that this passenger from China may be carrying prohibited items. Oh, wow. In the water bottle, he's got concealment of seats. This is why when this gentleman presented to us today, he was very, very protected of the water bottle. He's clearly putting seeds in the bottle. So to me, it's an indication that he's trying to bring him into the country without declaring him. Without us knowing. These are seeds for actually sowing. The whole water container is actually filled with seeds. Seeds for sowing are high risk as they can contain pests and diseases which could be a critical threat to Australia's agricultural industry. Put your phone away or I'm going to call the police. You need to calm down, okay? You need to calm down. And judging by the man's nervous behaviour, it could be just the beginning. He's very agitated, moving things around, he's not paying attention to me. Stop, so please stop, okay? You let me do it, okay? Please don't touch. Stop, no. His hands are at the moment are trembling. He's, uh, he's almost breaking out into a perspiration. So, yeah, he's, there you go. Look, there's some more, are they more seeds? It's for sowing. It's for sowing, okay. Officers are increasingly concerned about what they'll find next. We've just got to make sure that there's no actual live plant material or anything else that is of high biosecurity risk for us here today. And when Officer Andrea opens a packet of tea, she discovers another prohibited concealment. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? After finding prohibited seeds in the luggage of this man arriving from China, officers have opened a bag labelled as tea and they've discovered another concealment. It's tobacco. 
That's tobacco. Yeah, that's concealed. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's in a tea packer. Yeah. I mean, you don't normally oh. package tobacco in a tea packer, no, no. and it clearly is an indication of tea. But as you can see it's inside, concealed, yeah. it's, and it's not a processed form of tobacco. No, no. So he obviously knows it's been yes. we'll he's been caught out today. As well, yeah. Absolutely. Officers continue to find the smuggled tobacco all throughout his luggage. Here we go. Look at this. Ready? There you go. Oh, another one. Here's some more here. As the goods pile up, the man's stress increases. He's starting to perspire now and he seems to be very agitated, but I think because he's been caught out today, it's not going to look very good for him in the end. And now some full cigarette packets have been found on the ground, right near the man's feet. Hello, these yours? Why were they on the ground? Officers suspect he's tried to discard them to avoid being caught. And when identical packets are found in his case, it's confirmed. Oh, look at this. Another packet. It is a huge haul of undeclared and prohibited items. But now, something has gone missing. Where's the cigarettes? Come back. Where's the cigarettes that were here? Cigarette. Chris, come back for a minute, please. Where's the cigarette? You took the cigarette from here. It has come to my attention that there appear to be a ground for cancellation of your visa. Australian Border Force officers have issued this South Korean man returning for his fourth year of study with a notice of intention to consider cancelling his visa. I can find no evidence that you are currently enrolled in a registered course of study, nor do you have a current letter of offer. It appears that he is in breach of a number of his student visa conditions but he is given a final chance to plead his case. Is there any degree of hardship that would result from the cancellation of your visa? A very big hardship. Can you please describe this hardship? I have spent three years in Australia for my first purpose. And my parents who sent me to Australia for my study uh, are expecting a very good result from my study for my future. Yeah, that's all. At this stage, I'll have to suspend the interview to prepare my decision. The young man now faces an anxious wait while officers decide if he is allowed to continue his studies in Australia. Have you taken any drugs? Any, no, any no, drugs? No, no. no drugs? No, no, no. Okay. Any trouble with the police? No, 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 no. This woman says she has come to Australia for a two-week holiday. But Border Force officers are concerned she may be attempting to smuggle narcotics into the country. We did an iron scan test on some of the goods from the passenger's bag, and it came back positive for cocaine but we're going to do another test with the first offender and see what we get with that. The woman claims the bottle contains hair products and this test will give a clear indication if she is telling the truth. Just done a further test on the uh, liquid and it's come back as negative. Border Force officers have completed their thorough investigation and are now satisfied that the woman is not concealing narcotics. The relieved passenger is now free to enjoy her holiday. So we've cleared her bags, there's nothing in the bags. Sometimes you get false positives, hair products will, will react as cocaine. Where's the cigarette? You took the cigarette from here. Biosecurity officers have confiscated a large amount of undeclared cigarettes from this man. But now, some of the cigarettes appear to have gone missing. You know what? Can we get a body search done on him? He's very agitated, very nervy, very jumpy. After explaining the procedure to the passenger, Australian Border Force officers proceed with the frisk search. Oh, that is the packet that he took off the barrier. I knew there was another packet and he took, he took it. He took another one. 
missing cigarettes have been located, and the Frisk search fails to find anything else on the man's body. Officer Andrea must now decide his penalty. He's given me no option but to issue an infringement notice. Uh, bordering on what I was going to find, it could have ended up being a prosecution for this passenger. It is going to be a $360 fine today. With the prohibited goods confiscated, he's also issued with an additional fine for the undeclared tobacco. So you need to sign there, please. He's now free to enter Australia, minus the seeds and tobacco. After having his college enrolment cancelled due to poor attendance, Australian Border Force officers are now weighing up whether this young man should be allowed to enter the country on his student visa. He did actually indicate in his response, so my parents expect good results. So the expectations of parents is that he will get good results. So there is going to be some emotional hardship there for him to have to tell his parents that he can't graduate and that he's wasted the last three years of his life here in Australia, because that is going to be an emotional hardship for him. After carefully considering all of the evidence, a decision has been made. After weighing up all the information available to me, I was satisfied that the grounds for cancelling your visa outweighed the reasons for not cancelling. As your visa has been cancelled, you will be refused immigration clearance. You will also be detained and removed from Australia as an unlawful non-citizen. So the passenger will now be returning home to South Korea, without a diploma and with a lot of explaining to do to his parents. <laughs>